Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. We'll be doing our live game tracking for the Prairie View A&M University Panthers and the Grambling State Tigers coming into game number three of the three-game series. Panthers trying to salvage the series with a win after losing on Friday by the score of 19-3, to losing Saturday by the score of 14-12. to Matthew Crawl will be the starting pitcher for the Panthers as we begin this top half of the first inning. The first pitch is officially at 1.05 p.m. Top half of first inning complete. Grambling State Tigers get two quick outs, a walk batter, and the batter caught stealing to go no runs, no hits, no errors, no one left on base as we head to the bottom half of the first inning. The starting pitcher for the Grambling State Tigers will be Carlos Vergaro. After one inning of play, the Panthers get no runs off of one hit, no errors, and one runner left on base. We're going to the top of the second. No score from Tankersley Stadium. Top of the second inning is complete. The Tigers go one, two, three as the Panthers will come to bat in the bottom half of the second inning. At the end of two, the Panthers get two with two hits, no runners left on base, no errors. Heading to the top of the third, Panthers on top by the score of two. Zero. Grambling State Tiger responds in the top half of the third inning with two runs off of two hits, two runners left on base. Panthers coming to bat in the bottom. Heading to the bottom half of the third inning, we're all tied at two. At the end of the third inning, the Panthers regain the lead off of one run, one hit, one error. No runners left on base. Panthers on top by the score of three to two. Top of the fourth inning, the Grambling State Tigers get one run off of two hits and a runner stranded on base. Heading to the bottom of the fourth inning, we're all tied at three apiece. No runs, no hits, no errors, no runners left on base. At the end of four, we're still tied at three. Top of the fifth inning, the Grambling State Tigers get two runs off of one hit, two errors, one runner stranded on the pads. It is now 5-3 in favor of the Grambling State Tigers. At the end of five, Panthers gain one run off of two hits, one error to make the score now 5-4, Grambling State leading into the top of the sixth inning. Preston Allen will enter for pitching duties for the Panthers to start this top half of the sixth inning. At the end of the top of the sixth inning, Preston Allen has no runs, one hit, one error, one runner left on base. Panthers come to bat, trailing by the score of five to four. No runs, no hits, no errors at the end of the sixth inning. Grambling State going into the top of the seventh inning with a 5-4 score over the Panthers. Top of the seventh inning, easy work for Preston Allen. Three up, three down as we head to the bottom half of the seventh inning. Panthers trailing the Grambling State Tigers by the score of 5-4. to four. Panthers take the lead in the bottom half of the seventh inning, answering with two runs off of three hits, no runners stranded. Panthers with the lead going into the top half of the eighth inning by the score of of six to five. Top of the eighth inning, Preston Allen working the magic, leaves a runner at second base, so it was no runs off of one hit, no errors, one runner left on base. Panthers holding on by the score of six to five, coming into the bottom of the eighth inning. New pitcher entering for the Grambling State Tigers will be Jeremiah Newman. In the bottom of the eighth inning, new pitcher for the Grambling State Tigers. Allen walks in a runner with bases loaded, so it is now 7-5. Panthers on top in the bottom half of the eighth inning, still at bat. Grambling State makes a pitching change here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Grant Washington is now 
the new pitcher for the Grambling State Tigers. Panthers make a rallying cry in the bottom half of the eighth inning, getting three runs off of two hits, one hit batter, two walks, a couple of runners stranded on the pads, but the Panthers take the 9-5 to lead headed into the top of the ninth inning. Preston Allen secures the win for the Prairie View A&M University Panthers in the top half of the ninth inning. Grabbling State, no runs, one hit, no errors. A runner left on base for the final score. The Panthers salvaging the series with the 9-5 victory over the Grambling State Tigers. The game officially ends at 3.29 p.m., which makes this a two-hour, 24-hour game for the Panthers to secure the win over the Grambling State Tigers as they now improve their conference record to 5-7. and seven. Preston Allen will get credit for the win coming in the sixth inning to shut down the Grambling State Tigers to help the Panthers keep moving forward. Carlos Vergaro will get the L for the Grambling State Tigers as Mr. Matthew Crawl will have a no decision. This has been the play-by-play update live for the Prairie View a and University Panthers baseball. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Thanks so much for joining in with us. And until the next time, you guys be blessed, and we'll see you on the other side.